This guide is built on Google Chrome because many other browsers are built on the same engine, but it applies to every other browser as well, so no worries there. All right, let's begin, but firstly, short tip, you can find a list of our top security app recommendations in the description box down below this video. So definitely check that out if you want more information and you can help support our channel, which we really appreciate. Site settings. Within site settings, you can manage permissions for various website functions, including location access, camera and microphone usage, notifications, and JavaScript execution. For instance, restricting location access enhances privacy by preventing sites from pinpointing your geographic location. Similarly, controlling camera and microphone permissions ensures that websites can only use these devices when you explicitly allow them, protecting against eavesdropping. Keep in mind that if, for example, you turn off sharing location, websites that need to access your location may not work properly. Say you want to use a mapping website, for example. It will still show you the map itself if it doesn't have access to your location, but it won't be able to pinpoint you or give you directions from where you currently are unless you enter that manually. However, you can always turn it on again and turn it off when you are done with that website, or you could just go ahead and add it as an exception. Also, while we're here, another interesting feature you can adjust is notifications. Have you ever received a notification that seems kind of random, but also is loosely related to what you've searched for before? These are ads disguised as notifications. So let's take care of that really quick. When you click on the notifications button, you will see options for restricting all websites from sending you notifications. Below that, you have a button for adding websites that will still send notifications even if you disable them. And this is definitely an interesting feature to play with. And personally, I like to disable all notifications. Another option you might wanna change is embedded content. Click on it to access additional settings. And the embedded content setting in Google Chrome offers another level of control over your experience, specifically targeting how external content is integrated into the websites that you visit. Embedded content refers to content from other websites, such as videos, images, or social media posts that are seamlessly integrated into one website that you're actually visiting. Think of the last time you found a YouTube video inside of a news article. That video is embedded content. Inside, you can see two options. The first one allows sites to ask to use the info that they've saved about you. The other option is to restrict all websites from even asking to use the info about you. The second option is better in terms of keeping your privacy safe. However, if some websites don't work, you can always turn this option on temporarily and then turn it off afterwards again. There are also other options inside the menu called additional permissions. An interesting one is clipboard. Go ahead and click on it. There you have options to disable websites from seeing what you keep in your clipboard. You can disable this here, and if you like, below these two options, you can add custom websites to allow or not allow this option. But we don't have time to go through all of them in this video, I encourage you to explore and see what these settings are all about. It'll also help you to form an idea about all the information websites can access by default if you're not careful. Let's talk JavaScript. JavaScript is always a headache because it's one of the core tools in modern web development, but it's also a source of many vulnerabilities. The JavaScript setting in Google Chrome significantly influences both the functionality and security of your browsing experience. However, some websites use JavaScript for malicious purposes, such as scams. So you can choose to disable this if you like. Here you have the option to allow all sites to run JavaScript, which is recommended for the best web experience, or not allow sites to use JavaScript, which maximizes security and privacy, but may break certain web pages. For a middle ground approach, Chrome allows you to block JavaScript by default, but make exceptions for trusted sites. This way you can enjoy the full functionality of sites that you trust while minimizing your risk elsewhere. And if I disable JavaScript completely, let's demonstrate the impact now. I'll navigate to YouTube and you will observe that certain features may not load or function as expected due to JavaScript being disabled. While disabling this feature can significantly improve your privacy and security, you may need to do some additional tweaking such as adding custom behaviors for websites that require JavaScript in order to function. To maintain full control of your browser, it's advisable to keep JavaScript disabled by default and use this method instead. For example, if you're on a website like YouTube, where we are right now, Chrome, attentive to your security, may initially block JavaScript on the site. However, an icon will appear in the top right-hand corner, indicating the site's request to enable JavaScript. 
By selecting Always Allow JavaScript on this site, you grant permission where it's necessary, ensuring the site functions properly while maintaining your overall security settings. This way, for every website, you can choose whether to enable JavaScript or keep it disabled, maintaining security while allowing necessary functionality. If you want to enhance your security even further, consider that your browsers are often connected to your email accounts. We've created a video highlighting the most crucial Gmail security settings as well. This includes implementing two-factor authentication and other important tips, so feel free to check that out here. Regularly revisit your Chrome settings to stay ahead of evolving threats and explore additional privacy enhancing tools to further secure your digital life. Keep exploring, stay secure, and enjoy the vast dynamic world of the internet on your terms. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to subscribe and like this video to stay up to date on future postings. And let us know down in the comment section what your top browser security tip currently is. Thanks so much, we'll see you in the next video.